Hey guys, it's Ashley, and today I'm unboxing the August Owlcrate and Owlcrate Junior in the middle of September, because what else is new? I feel like I say that every Owlcrate unboxing, but um, it's true, so I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm super excited for these, because I genuinely don't remember the themes, so I'm just ready to get into it. Let's get started. I have actual scissors this time, so. Easy open access. If you guys didn't know, I am an Owlcrate rep, which means I get free boxes to review every month. Um, you can use my code of Ash and get 10% off your next subscription. Let us dive right into Storyteller's Toolkits. I actually, I, I remembered this this theme. So first we have something called Create a Story Card Pack. It, it looks like it's just 36 flashcards that have different photos on them that kids can use to create different stories. Next we have more adorable little pencils. They're from Jubilee Design Studio. Fresh page engraved pencil sets. Um, they're just little pencils that have little engravings on them. One says, once upon a time. One says, it was a dark and stormy night. And one says, a long, long time ago. Next I pulled out the Alcrate Junior pen. This one is just a little typewriter. Hopefully, maybe, can you see that? This light is very bright, so I apologize. Next up in our Storyteller's Toolkit, we have a little eraser in the shape of a book. Next up is a cute little notebook. On one side it has like a little ink pen, and on the other it says, what's your story? Genuinely one of the cutest things I've ever gotten in an Alcrate Junior box ever is this adorable leather zip-up pouch. It's turquoise and it has little writing utensils on it and it's the cutest thing ever and I'm gonna be using this for all of my traveling needs 100%. This book is so pretty you guys. So the book of this month's box is called Night Book by J.A. White. This cover is beautiful, first of all. I just want to put that out there. So this book is about this boy named Alex. Um, he never shared the stories he writes with anyone, but when he's kidnapped by a witch who demands a new scary tale every night, his stories may be the only thing that can keep him alive. This sounds so, so cool. And honestly, it sounds kind of like A Thousand and One Nights. Is that the name? The Arabian tale? Um, but not Arabian. Nightbooks is a spooky new modern fairy tale by J.A. White, sure to scare and delight and inspire the storyteller inside us all. This is so, so cool, I'm so excited. Included with the book are a signed book plate from the author that you can't see because it's too bright up here, a letter from the author along with a little print of the cover on the back, and this little guy called My Nightbook, which I'm assuming is part of the story. Um, it's just more of a little notebook for you to write in and um, story ideas on the back. <laughs> and the theme of next month's box is called Ghosts and Ghoulies. Boo! We're starting Halloween early this year with a very special ghost story from one of our favorite authors. This month's sp spooktacular box is perfect for fans of the Graveyard Book, Lockwood & Co., Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children, and things that go bump in the night. I have a feeling I know what the book is going to be for this box, but I'm not going to spoil it for anybody who maybe doesn't know yet, so we shall see what happens. Now time to get on to Owlcrate. Owlcrate! Ooh, what is this? Ruthless Royals! Oh my gosh. So the first thing that I pulled out of the box is this cute little pocket mirror. On the front it says, may you always find beauty, which is a quote from the bells. Um, and you can just kind of, boop, pop it open, and it's a little mirror! Super, super cute. Next up we have these absolutely adorable little magnetic bookmarks from Crafted Van. They always make the cutest ones. Um, this is the, like the Evil Queen, um, the Queen of Hearts, and Maleficent. Um, they're like little evil people, bad guys from Disney stories. Is that what it is? So the next thing that I pulled out is actually a ring. It is a giant, um, genuine agate stone. I believe that's how you say it. Um, it's just a big stone on a ring and it's actually, it's quite pretty though. It's a little too big for any of my fingers. So maybe my index finger, I can wear it there. <laughs> Next up, I pulled out a little tin. Um, it has a quote from Holly Black on the front and the back. It says, I like for things to happen, stories to unfold. And if I can't find a good enough story, I make one. And on the back it says, I am a mere mortal and you are a prince of fairy. You have much to lose and I have nothing. Which those are quotes from Cruel of Prince, I believe. At least the back one is. I'm thinking the front one is too, I can't remember. But this is just a little tin that opens and you can store things in it. Oh, it also says sharpen your blade, harden your 
heart on the inside, which I did not see to begin with. So the next item I pulled out is a tea towel inspired by Sarah J. Mass's Throne of Glass. It looks like this, and the quote says, she had often wished for adventures, for old spells, and wicked kings. And next I have a little promotional piece for Before She Ignites, the new book called As She Ascends by Jody Meadows. Um, the quote says, I wanted freedom in the same way I wanted my next breath, an unspoken but constant desire. And so the book of this month's box is Grace and Fury by Tracy Banghart, which was actually, I believe, the book that was in the last last fairy loot box. So now I have two copies. I don't know which cover I like better though. I think I like the UK cover, honestly. Either way, the story is the same. Um, and if you didn't watch that video, essentially, um, Alcrate says, step into a fantasy dystopian world where women have no rights and very few choices. Serena Tassara has been training her entire life to become a grace, someone who will stand with the heir to throne as an example of the perfect woman. Her sister Nomi works alongside her as a handmaid, although she dreams of so much more. Their entire lives are thrown upside down when Nomi ends up being selected as a grace and Serena is banished to a remote island prison due to a secret Nomi is hiding. Both girls are thrust into a life they never could have imagined and are desperate to find a way to save one another, but they're running out of time. Grace and Fury is an incredible story about survival, family, and feminism that will change the way you view the world. As soon as I hear women have no rights, it kind of reminds me of The Handmaid's Tale. So, um, we'll see what that's like. So this book is also signed by Tracy Banghart, which is awesome, so thank you so much, Alcrate. Included with the book are a letter from the author and a really cool book bookmark that like one side feels really weird and one side feels really different. I don't know. This is like, I'm trying to figure out. It's weird. Almost to the end, we have the little Owl Crate newsletter of this month included with um, interviews with the author, interviews with the vendors, little word searches, puzzles, and um, more details about what's going on in the world of Owl Crate. And last but not least, we have Masters of Disguise, the theme for the September box, which, can I just say, this looks like Lila Bard, and I'm living for it. So those are all of the items included in the August Owlcrate and Owlcrate Jr. Thank you so much to Owlcrate for sending me your boxes, and thank you so much to you guys for watching, even though this is about 15 days late, so I truly apologize. If you are interested in getting your own box, remember you can use my code of Ash for 10% off. But other than that, that's going to be it for this video, so thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you later. Goodbye!